What's going on everybody? Georgia Bassmasters out here at this little pond. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips today on some pond tricks and what I like to do. Uh, if, you have, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit the like button and uh, comment some of your pond fishing tips. A few of mine, I'm gonna get into this video. For starters, only take a couple of rods with me. Very limited tackle. If you have your little, uh, just like a little uh, backpack or a little, uh, just some type of bag you can carry with you. I just have a uh, couple different types of worms in my, in my back pocket. I carry some spare hooks, some spare baits. Uh, very limited, because when you're walking around the pond, the last thing you want to be doing is uh, lugging around a big old tackle bag or a lot of poles. Sometimes I'll only bring one, just depending on what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've caught quite a few fish already. I'm gonna show you guys some of my tips during the video. See you guys at the end. All right, back to the old juicy hole and the spot where I'm not really sure you're supposed to fish. Hey, there's a turtle right there. What's up, bud? You doing all right? It's just a water turtle. Random find for the day. Well, anytime a little bit of rain comes out, those turtles really get to moving. They like the ground wet. They really don't like uh, traveling along dry or hot, wet, hot ground. So they wait till a little sprinkle comes along, just enough to wet the ground. You'll see turtles everywhere. But anyways, about halfway down to the lake, so I'll catch you guys there. Fish. on the Guggen Mondo worm first fish of the day it's a little dink but I'll take it It is not deep over here. Man, you splashed mud all over me. Oop, I just had a hit. Another dink. Right here at the bank. Oh, that one was swimming off. Okay, a little bank fishing day. Okay, so that one kind of ripped my Mondo worm, but here's what you guys can do. You can hook it through the other side or you can bite it. Oop. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my worm, I'm just gonna hook it, well, I'm gonna bite it and hook it through the other side. That is one salty worm, guys. Guggen baits does not play on the salt on their worms. Okay, that was two pretty much back-to-back -back casts. I'll take it. Let me get a long ways cast down the bank real quick. You guys always wanna cast long ways down the bank. While you're fishing the bank, before you walk down, cast down it like this because there could be some fish laying on the side and you don't want to spook them. And if you walk up on them, like I did earlier, they're most likely not gonna hit. They're just gonna run off and they'll be gone. So always cast down the bank first. So, okay, no hit, so now I'm gonna walk down. Another tip for you guys, bank fishing, is you're gonna wanna cast in a clock. So, probably about nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, you know, casting a rainbow to get all the areas on bank fishing. Oh, got a knot on there. Let me redo that. Let me move this pole for this lady. Try this. I love pockets. Anytime there's a pocket and a small pond, that's probably one of my favorite places to fish. For some reason, fish love to 
pile in those pockets. Let me try one a little closer to the bank. And I just had a nibble. He's on there. Not a bad one. Right in those pockets, I'll send you guys about. Oh, he got on the log, guys. Oh, and I got him out. <laughs> All right. Feels like I got a knot or a fray in my line, too. I do. That's not good. Due to time constraints, I would normally retie that, but. All right. That one got me. So the color I'm using is baby bass. So these cannibals out here are loving the same color as them. I'm really hoping a dang giant doesn't eat my bait and that fray break me off. That would not be good. I'm pretty sure I'm using a two alt offset hook i've kind of been liking those better than just a wide gap i feel like my hookup ratio is a little better on the offset so let's get another cast cast into the pipe my original plan all right so i casted right past it about five foot i don't know if these fish out here like that thing i don't know and i have a bite guys yeah there we go there was a fish beside it figure there would be all right another one guys what is that fish number four today in about five ten minutes can't complain uh a good tip fishing a pond for some reason a cinco a yum dinger a uh, Guggen Lunker Log, any type of stick bait like this, these fish love them in these ponds. There's probably not a better pond bait than just a stick worm. Really nothing to them. I'm going to have to bite that. <laughs> nothing fancy about them. They don't, they're not pretty, but they catch fish, especially in ponds. Can't complain about that. Let's try it out there again. Cast number two, close to the fountain. Let's see if there's some more fish out there. That was the second fish I've had beside that. First fish was on the left side, and that one was on the right side. I know there's bigger fish in here. Just have not had one hit yet. I just saw some fish busting down there on the opposite bank. Let's try a cast to the left side of the fountain. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, that was actually really close to the right side. I meant to cast further to the left. And I got a fish, guys. Oh, he come off. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. That was a good cast. On the far left side of it. Ought to be a fish. And I got a bite, guys. I think he let it go. Man, that was a nice bite. That was a good bite, guys. That was a nice fish. I might can throw the old uh, jackhammer out there and get some better hookup ratios. Just maybe. Let me throw this Guggen Lunker Log out there again. That was a solid bite. You can tell it kind of jacked up my worm. Get it back there on the left side. If not, ooh, I got that one dead in front. That's a good spot. And I just had a bite. Got him. Yes. Okay. That was not the fish that bit it last time, but I'm not gonna complain. Might have to tie me on a new lunker log or redo this one somehow. You can just keep on biting these things off. 
I keep biting it too long though, this thing will turn into a Ned rig. I do like a little bit of length on my stick worms. So let's give that a retry. And I am dead on the right side of the sprinkler. Dead on the right side. And I got a bite. He feels better. There we go. There we go. That's a better sized bass right there. Yeah, let's go. Come on now. Hoping there's one still over there. And there is. I knew there was still a bass by that fountain. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, thank you guys so much for sticking all the way to the end of the channel. Like I said, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Really helps me out, guys. I really appreciate all the support I get from uh, a bunch of you loyal fans and commenters and followers, people I know. Some of y'all personally, I got uh, friends. This YouTube channel has built friends all across the state and in a few other states. I built a good friendship with a guy named Brandon down in uh, close to uh, Savannah and Brunswick area. I'm supposed to be fishing with him sometime. So it's really cool getting to know you guys. So if you haven't become a part of the Georgia Bassmaster family, even if you don't live in Georgia, you can become one. It's really a, a lot of people think that that's a cocky name, but just a little quick story. It was actually kind of an insult because everybody in school, I went fishing so much, they just called me uh, the Bassmaster, or Georgia Bassmaster, something like that. So I was like, just gonna run with it turn it into a youtube name it's not me trying to claim i'm the georgia bassmaster i'm really not it was kind of like a derogatory term that people called me because i fish so much i mean i missed uh track practice powerlifting, football whatever you want to name it i was fishing and a lot of times i would quit those sports because of fishing so just a little backstory one-on-one -on, -one on me but i really appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end of this video see you guys on the next one i got some good ideas coming Thank you guys so much. Peace.